Hello everyone, welcome back to more Parasite Eve. Now, last time we were together, we went through the sewers beneath Chinatown, following the biomass, and we also went to the warehouse and cleared out the giant enemy crab. Now, we happen to know that the biomass made its way over to the museum, so that's where we're heading now. And there's our little chocoboo on the banner. Off screen, I did take a little bit of time to clean up our inventory. I did a little healing. So hopefully, this shouldn't take too long. But I know that's not going to be the case. Oh, what's that? Who's that? Who's there? The museum is actually a very long area, and there's a lot to find and a lot to do, including we can start grabbing some more junk, which I'm going to try to keep my eyes open for. I was honestly hoping we would get these special junk weapons during this playthrough, but we're getting, well, I don't want to say we're close to the end. But we're getting close to the point where we're not going to really be able to count on collecting more junk. Oh. Hey! Uh oh, fight time. Now, the museum enemies are no joke. There we go, we got some raptors here. I don't know if three shots are going to be enough. I doubt it. Now, even on the normal mode, these enemies were kind of tough. Replay mode is probably going to be even more so. Yeah, they like ripped through most of my health already. So was that about seven shots to take one out? Good chunk of XP though. How the hell did those dinosaurs get here? Well, it's simple. The mitochondria is bringing the bones back to life. All right, a cool a tool. And the G22 handgun. I'm also going to try playing with this rocket launcher every once in a while. Well, we used to pull our parasite energy, but we are back to full health. It's locked. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to spend some of my bonus points. Pump up the let's pump up the range a little bit. Got a great range on here, and I want to take advantage of that. And really get that damage up. Put a few more points into our jacket. Pretty sure those dinosaurs were just using physical attacks on us. Get our parasite energy up a little bit too. I think I can afford to put three more points in the bowl. Yeah, so the big raptor dinosaurs aren't the only ones. You also got these little green ones. They bounce around a lot.
they require a few hits to kill. More than the Raptors. Well, I don't know if more than the Raptors, but more than three. No doubt, I'm going to have to run in and out of the museum every once in a while. But, of course, I will chop that down as not to take up too much time. And if we do get one of the special jump weapons off-screen, I'll be sure to include that. So I think we're going to take out the big blue one first. do some training in here. Well, tr truth is, <laughs> I may end up doing so much fighting that training isn't going to be necessary. Okay, I don't think we can go upstairs or use the elevator right now. it'll start up again if I deactivate the alarm. So yeah, supposedly the alarm's going. No, nope, can't get in that door yet. Oh, I was wrong. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. So yeah, this room has a big old T-Rex skeleton on display. Anything hiding in this corner? Nope. There we go. I knew there were some foot lockers in here. Extra ammo. And some medicine four. Oh, I should have used the rocket during that fight. No, I'll try to remember. puzzle here. And the puzzle is not exactly what you would expect. How many animals were there? I don't remember. I think... Were there nine? Yes. If you can guess correctly how many animals there were, you get something. You can kind of make them out here, that they're kind of grayed out. Like this little rabbit over here, that deer in the corner. I'm pretty sure the numbers are always the same. Okay, two of you little suckers. One, two, three, four, five, and one for you.
are we doing on items? We're out of space. So you know what, since we're not that far in, I'm gonna go deposit some of this stuff. Okay, we're back. So I did drop off a bunch of items, and I even saved the game. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch the rocket launcher. No, we don't need to reload, we need to equip. Which I'm doing from the wrong screen. You can see that it is a powerful weapon. Even our beefed up rifle here is not quite as good. Downside though is only one rocket. But it has another little benefit. And we're gonna get into a fight soon enough. There we go. Somebody obviously doesn't want me to get through this area. Giant horror scorpion. So we're gonna shoot it with a rocket. Oh, that's right. It has that kind of snaky poison thing going on. Alright, let's get a haste up. Oh, that's right, the rocket only has one, one use. Ooh, yep, and of course, it's got that stinger at the end of its tail. Yeah, so that big burst right there can also hurt other enemies. Now we're gonna switch back to our... I'm gonna try to switch back. There we go, to our rifle. Fast enough. Ah, missed me. Let's see how you like six rounds of you. Didn't like it very much at all. But firing all these shots does leave us vulnerable to attack. a medicine too to heal. Also very little rocket ammunition in the game that I'm aware of. Alright, what was the first nutritional source for the first organisms that lived 3.9 billion years ago? Remember this. But these are things that we'll, we've either already learned about during the course of the game, or that we're, we will learn about during the course of the game. Is it nitrogen oxides from volcanoes? Yep. So we get a little bit of extra ammo. Now imagine you're a kid in New York City. And you're taking these little quizzes around the Museum of Natural History, and they're just handing out ammunition for getting it right. I think more people would go to the museum, then. Okay. Two of you jerks. Hmm. I was thinking maybe I should get them to attack first. But I could probably get that one locked. This place is going to be locked down. So we're going to have to look around until one, we can turn off the alarm, and two, find a key. Alright, the M203 4 grenade launcher. 
And this one looks like it has ice attached to it. Okay, more blue raptors. Starting to feel like Dino Crisis. Not quick enough to escape. Oh, wow. Okay. A little healing first. Then shoot it. talk to us. Well, you can kind of make out a door back behind those two heads. Although we can't get to it from here. Wait. What was that noise? See, there's all kinds of rubble here, and the roof kind of fell in on us a little bit. And we got some new enemies. These kind of armadillo-looking things. They're going to roll around and try to, you know, run us over. But I might be able to pack them pretty close. See, everybody took some damage. Pretty big damage at that. Let's try to finish these guys off. I'm getting nowhere like this. Well, that's not true. I'm doing a lot of damage to them. But I would have probably been better off using the rifle. Alright, that's most of them. Ah, ran right into them. Just a little bit. And look at that, look at that big chunk of XP. And lots of medicine for. Now I want to try to save medicine for for later, so what I've been doing is dropping it off back at the police station. And I'll probably do that again the next time I need to. Upstairs. And here's our next little puzzle. The matter conjure creates ATP. Um, Illinois triphosphate? I don't know. But in the cell, how much energy is this equivalent to? I think it's 2,000 volts per cubic centimeter. Yep.
And again, if you're asking how I know these answers, these are questions that we'll find the answer to from either playing further or that were in notes that we read about earlier. Characters might have also told us as well. Okay, let's power up our armor. Let's power up our rifle. Okay. I'm pretty sure we can go north. I'm just going to assume that's north. I think we can also go down this way. Alright. I'm trying to remember what the Blue Raptor's name from Dino Crisis was. Well, in the Dino Crisis games that we played, there were Blue Raptors, but I don't think they had names. It wasn't until Dino Stalker. I think the Blue Raptor was Trinity. We might play Dino Stalker one day. We'll have to see. I can't get through here. So, we are going north. Or whatever the equivalent is. Yeah, and here's the area above all those heads. All smashed up. Yeah, I don't think there's anything to check out here. There's a door. And there's a ladder. And this ladder both goes up and down. I can go up or down. We're going down to the first floor. And now we have a foot locker. With no offense up. So that alone is worth it. Make sure we put it on our rifle. But this door leads to behind the heads. And there is a goodie around here. There we go, a tool. Sorry, a little too fast there. We want to go up to the third floor. And another foot locker. With rockets. I don't know how many rockets. If I was paying attention, I would know. One blue raptor we can handle. Handle you no problem. Alright, and here we have a bunch of displays on the human anatomy and biology. We've got the nuclear family playing in there. Alright, by taking mitochondria which uses oxygen as its nutritional source and then the body and living with it symbiotically, the bacteria has acquired a tremendous amount of aging. What was the consequence? What was it? Was it aging? Yes. Now, as you've already seen, most of the rewards for those little things are just extra ammo. I think one of them had a... Uh, a really b strong piece of medicine in it. So, you know, they're worthwhile to do, but not exactly groundbreaking rewards. Alright, I like it when it's easy. There's one raptor to shoot. And 
kind of level up. All right, you have evolved pre-raise. Pre-raise is like auto life. When your HP reaches zero, you will automatically get revived. That's another good one to have, but um, I usually have a revive in my inventory. See, like right there. So I usually don't cast that Parasite Energy very often. Okay, in 1987, Kane and Wilson released a theory saying that humans were derived from Mitochondria Eve. Which organism is thought to be Mitochondria Eve? Well, that, would just, that was just an African female. Medicine 3, so that wasn't bad. Okay. Oh, you look suckers. Okay, so we started attacking target two. I got hit by everyone. We should be able to take out target three. I'm going to take out target three before target two. jump the better. Okay, it doesn't look like we have any more medicine too. How are we doing on space? Only room for one more. It's locked. Try going downstairs. Pretty sure what we want to find is up here on the third floor. But we'll take a look down here. Vending machine? Nothing. Alright, you guys. How many shots did you take? You took quite a few with the rockets. More than six. Alright, about eight. trying to get out of here. Everything's locked, huh? Can't get through here. I could take the long way. But we're not going to do that. First of all, try not to get killed. What if we confuse you and then just load you for bullets? Okay, I guess you are immune to confusion. Swing at me. 
wow, we used up all our ammo. Okay, well, we definitely want the junk. I would like everything else, but it's not an option right now. That's right, Pteranodons. Now, just one of them shouldn't be a problem. Takes more than six shots, though. Seven shots. And Medicine 4? Yeah, we're gonna take Medicine 4 in place of a Medicine 4. Yeah, we're gonna replace Medicine 4. For Medicine 4! <laughs> yeah, let's put Medicine 3 in there. I can always come back for that Medicine 3. Alright, well, as long as you're by yourself, We pretty much just locked it there. Sorry, we have no room for Medicine 3. can only hold uh, 99 bullets. Uh, 999 bullets. Alright, we're up here by another stairwell. Can we get down from here? I can't go up. the gates close, I won't be able to get through here. Oh, what was that? Hey! Did someone just lock the door? He must have locked it. Whoever else is in the museum is making life difficult for us. But... Inventory is full. Let's put Medicine 3 in there. And we get the SV Protector. With more pockets to carry items. Now, our armor does not have that on it. But our armor also does not have any more slots to put special abilities. But we're going to keep that just for a little later. Hang on. Let's try reading what that says. And get out through here. Alright, through the window it is. If 
I slip on the corner. And we're in the room right above. Well, not in the, we're in the same room as the T-Rex skeleton. Let's see. It looks like I can only get in from there. Alright, go down. Careful now, Ada. Whew, made it. Alright, and this room has some, well, some sort of flying dinosaur bones up there. I've been calling them pteranodons, but that's not necessarily what they are. Sorry, Medicine 3. Now, there should be two doors in here. I think one of them is locked. Yep, it's locked. 